What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 3, week 4 of the Shredding for a Show. I'm 6 weeks out from the show, so it's time to get shredded. It's time to get that thick skin, bro. But if you guys know me personally, you know I'm a huge sneaker fan. Like, I love sneakers. And they just released some new Jordan 1s at Foot Locker. That's right by my house, so I'm going to go check them out, see if they have my size. And let's get the day rolling, bro. at 8 a.m. it's like 11 right now and they didn't have my size so I guess I'm not copying today but they're actually releasing a better colorway tomorrow so I might get those but the guy told me they only have one pair in my size so I might have to wake up early and get, get the shoes because I really like them. Got this pre-workout I want to see what the hype's all about so might as well try it try out this room and see how I like it. I'll give you guys a full review when I'm done with the work now. What you see me rubbing here is Tiger Balm. Basically it just numbs your muscles and makes them feel really warm. So it makes the pain go away and that's why I'm using it. Two things I want to say before starting this workout. That pre-workout tastes fucking amazing. And second thing is, that thing I put on my shoulder, that cream, it's like icy hot. If you don't know what icy hot is, it's like this thing that makes your muscles burn. Like right now my shoulder's burning, but I can feel no pain. So as long as I can feel no pain and work out fine, then I'm going to use it. So. What is going on, guys? Just wanted to do a voiceover this part of the video explaining exactly what I'm doing. So. I'm doing external rotation for my rotator cuffs to warm them up properly. I'm doing like 10 sets of 10 each arm, uh, which takes me like 15, 20 minutes. Just making sure my health, my shoulder is really, really warmed up before getting to an actual workout. And I feel like this is the main reason why I got hurt because I never warmed up properly. And rotator cuff is essential for any upper body movement. So you have to make sure you warm up or you're going to get hurt like me and have to lift some pussy ass weights. So make sure to warm up properly. Guys, if you've ever practiced any type of body weight movements, you know that if you stop doing them for a week or two, you're fucked. You're right back at ground zero and you cannot do it anymore unless you're really advanced. So I'm practicing my handstands as much as possible, even though they feel like shit right now. Uh, I'm still trying to keep my balance and my handstand strength just because it took me so long to finally get and I don't want to lose it just because of a slight injury so I'm still doing handstands. After that slight calisthenics workout I went right back into bodybuilding because I am doing a bodybuilding competition so I'm trying to maintain as much possible as much muscle as possible but I'll just let you enjoy the footage and yeah. So pretty much my day consisted of, you know, waking up, fasting, working out. I worked out for like two hours because filming and working out is really tough actually. Like it takes a lot of time, you have to get good angles and it just distracts you from your workout a little bit. So I was in there for like two and a half hours, did some cardio, uh, went shoe shopping because I took an L on the Jordan 1s and I still wanted some shoes. I just have like a shoe addiction. 
And I actually went like online and was in a raffle to get these, but I lost. And they're actually selling these retail, so I didn't know that. Element 87s, these are actually my favorite shoe. Uh, royal blue tint, I think that's the colorway, I'm not sure. With the cork inside. And the thing with these is they're like see-through, so if you wear like a different color sock, they're gonna be a different color, so that's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, I might go eat, eat out with my parents later. Uh, to a restaurant, so I'll show you guys how to track a meal at a restaurant because you can still eat out and have fun um, while being on prep and I'll show you guys how to track that so that might be helpful yep breaking my fast with some corn thins I'm gonna have like 10 or 11 that's like 40 grams of carbs so it's gonna hold me over to like 7 to 8 p.m. when I have dinner with the fam alright guys so the audio in this clip is really messed up. There's like babies crying in the background. So I'm just going to explain what I'm saying. And in order to eat out while being on prep or staying on your diet, if it's macros or whatever you're doing, um, the only thing you have to do is follow two principles. First one being, don't go for the fried foods. Go for more macro-friendly options like I'm doing here. I got grilled chicken. And second thing is always overestimate on your macros. So for example, in this plate, I have two chicken thighs, two tortillas, and one cup of watermelon. But I'm tracking it as I was eating two and a half chicken thighs, two and a half tortillas, and two cups of watermelon. Why am I overestimating? Because it's always better to overestimate and be below your macros than underestimate and be above your macros. If you're above your macros, it's gonna mean you're not in a caloric deficit, which is gonna make you gain weight. So in conclusion, basically go for more macro-friendly options and overestimate on your food. One last thing I forgot to mention is I also added one tablespoon of olive oil just to be safe, safer on the fats. This probably doesn't have that much, but it's a lot better to be safer. Again, overestimating. Just off the night here with the usual eggs and potatoes, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next episode. It's going to be me going to Ultra, the music festival, so that's going to be fun. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you like this content. So, yeah, thank you for watching.